YouTube, I am here with another haul because I can't help myself. It's a problem. Many of us have it. Yeah, so I went to I went to Ulta and Target again and I got some more goodies. And I'm pretty excited about what I got and so I'm just going to show them to you. I'm going to start with Target. Uh, first thing I picked up was another sleep mask from Pixie, the Nourishing Sleep Max. Sleep mask. I love this stuff and I use it um, three times a week at least. It just it really makes my skin feel amazing when I wake up. So this is a standby for me and I almost always have one uh, in my collection but I <laughs> ran out so I had to go grab it. And while I was there, I picked up another the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I love this stuff too, and mine was running low, so I went ahead and got another one. Uh, this has hyaluronic acid and a black oat, and again, it makes my face feel really nice. And it's one of those few facial sprays where I really notice a difference after I use it, so uh, I like to keep one on hand. What else did I get? I found a Pixie Highlighter, which um, is a collab with a YouTuber. I'm not even Aspie Navard? Aspen. Aspen Navard. <laughs> Can I read? So I've, I've actually never heard of her. I've seen stuff about a collab like vaguely floating around in YouTube. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to look her up. And I'm excited to try Pixie's highlighters because I've never tried them. I've tried a bunch of their other stuff, but I don't even know if they had a highlighter. So, very excited about that. Love a good highlighter. I finally found the uh, new Wet n Wild lip liners, the gel lip liners. I got the shades Bear to Comet and Pink or Think Flamingos. So one's a br pink and one's a brown. And I've heard good things about them so far. So I'm very excited to try those out. Another thing I picked up of a trial size kind of of the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline. It's been a long time since I've tried a Maybelline mascara. I know that they're supposed to be really good, but I don't know. I just have it. <laughs> so I grabbed this. Also, it's kind of cool to see like the little trial sizes at the drugstore because I never use up a full tube of mascara in three months. Never. So I like the little travel sizes. Ones. And lastly from Target, I picked up uh, the travel size shampoo and conditioner from Nexus. The Therapy Shampoo and the Humectress Conditioner is the replenishing system. I really like the Humectress hair mask and that's why I grabbed these to see if they were as good. I got the hair mask at Ulta, I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to try the whole shebang and see if they love it or if it's just meh. I've been using their, their Color Safe Shampoo, whatever, Color Assure, something like that, the one in the pink bottle. And I'm honestly not a huge fan, but I've loved other Nexus products in the past, so I'm definitely, I'm really excited to give these a try. And that was it from Target. And... Wasn't that big of a haul from Target this time, I guess, but uh, from Ulta, I definitely got I got some goodies. Um, I'm just going to dive right in. I got the Julep Love Your Bare Face Hydrating Cleansing Oil. I was using the Clinique Take Your Day Off Cleansing Balm, and that really got me curious about just cleansing oils in general. I know it's not the same thing, but I like the idea of hydrating your face while you're cleansing it, so... I'm going to try the whole double cleansing, where you cleanse with the oil and then you cleanse with the cleanser. And that's why I picked this up. I got the full size of the um, rose water spray from Mario Badescu. I have the little one and I have really been liking it, so I grabbed the full size. I just love it about the way it smells and the way it feels. I really like the way it makes my skin feel. It's just a nice refresher. Also from Mario Badescu, I got the Protein Night Cream. And let me see what this says. 
It says dried and mature skin will immediately be softened and rejuvenated with our rich and thick protein night cream. I've been having some serious issue with dry skin on my on my cheekbone, so that's why I grabbed this for that area specifically. I don't think I'm going to need this on my forehead because that tends to be more on the oily side, but I'm definitely going to see if I can put like just a layer of this on my cheek and see if that helps when I wake up in the morning if um, I don't have like the dry patches that I normally do. That's what I'm hoping, at least. We'll see. I found something I hadn't seen from NYX before. This is, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but this is the Epic Ink Lip Dye. Uh, they had some testers out at Ulsa, and it's just, it has, it's like a lip stain, but it seems like it's much more intense than lip stains I've tried in the past, and it was just, I don't know, I was really intrigued by it, so I grabbed one. This is in the shade Charmer. So, I mean, you know what, I'll swatch it for you. Why not? I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow anyways. I'll tell my mother. Alright, so this is the shade Charmer. Let's we'll see what this looks like. So you can see it's, it's really watery, but it's also very pigmented, and it just, it stays. Like, I put the swatch on my hand at Ulta, and then I had trouble taking it off when I got home. That's how how much staying power it has. So I'm really excited to try that one out. I always like a good long wearing product because when I'm at work, I don't want to be messing with it. I mean, I'm a waitress. I'm running around in circles for six to eight hours a day. I don't have time to stop and refresh my makeup. You know, I'm busy. So uh, a lip product that I don't have to worry about, you know, getting like that butthole lip or a bit running or something. That's what I'm looking for, and that's what I'm really hoping this is going to be. You know, I do like my liquid lipsticks, the matte ones that dry and stay, but they're not the most comfortable, if you know what I mean. So if I could find a product like this that will stay for a long time and be comfortable, then I feel like I've hit the jackpot. Uh, also from NYX, I grabbed their blending sponge. Just, I was curious, and I want to see what it's like. And so this is, says it is Flawless Finish Blending Sponge. It feels pretty dense. I don't have any water here, so I can't see what it feels like when it is um, wet. But it has one very flat side here. It comes to a point, and then it has like that, that egg shape on the bottom. And I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. The only sponge that I found that I really love, I've... I have not tried the Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender because I I just, I don't want to get sucked into spending $20 every few months on a beauty product. I know that they're phenomenal, but, like, I have my limits. So, um, I've been using the L'Oreal sponge, and I really like that, but I think they're pretty comparable in price. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a phone call from my mother and <laughs> had to answer it, so... Um, I don't remember exactly where we were. I know I was talking about the uh, NYX blending sponge. Uh, yeah, I remember. I was talking about um, the L'Oreal sponge. I really like that sponge. I like the Real Technique ones. So I'm hoping that this is going to be similar to uh, both of those. I, I like the fact that it has this flat edge here. And it feels like it's going to be really good for getting like in the, in the corner of your eye. So I'm, you know, thought I'd give it a shot. See if I like it. I don't know. I don't know. And while I was in that section, I found the NYX, um, what is this thing called? Brush. I found the NYX brushes. <laughs> and so I grabbed this one, and I think this is like, um, this is, I think it's a crease brush. Now I can't remember. It looks like a crease brush to me. But I thought I'd give them a shot, see if they're any good. It's always good to find a drugstore brush that you like, so, it, I don't know. Sometimes when I go into Ulta, I just pick things up, and then I get home and I'm like, did I really need that? Probably not, but I got it, so I'm going to give it a shot. These are the Humectris um, Intensely Hydrating Masks that I was talking about. Uh, I got them to go... Well, I've tried these before, and I really like these. I got them to go with the uh, shampoo and conditioner that I picked up at Target. 
and um, yeah, like I said, I tried these before and loved them. They felt made my hair feel so good. I'm down for that. I mean, I, I did a number on my hair when I bleached it. Uh, I thought I escaped most of the damage, but as time went on, I noticed that my hair at the ends get really dry and crackly. So I've been like just pouring the hydration into my ends because I hate it when they feel all gross. You know, like that crackly, like they're going to snap when you touch them. I hate that. But they seem to fix that, which is awesome. So I grabbed a couple. I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. I think most people know what this is. I got this in the shade uh, 003 Natural. I broke my last one, RIP. It just shattered all over my bathroom floor. So I went and picked up another one. <clears throat> what else do I have here? Uh, the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. This is in the shade Peach Glow. Heard really good stuff about this product. So I'm always down for a good highlight. Oh, look how pretty that is. I almost don't even want to swatch it. Like, that's just so pretty. But, we're going to. You know what? I love, like, rosy, peachy colors, and I don't even know if it's picking up on camera. Can I get some more on? More on? Okay, we'll see if we can get that. I'm in an awkward spot. Hopefully it's picking up something. It's really gorgeous. I just felt like treating myself, so I got myself a little highlighter. Some people get ice cream, I buy highlighters. And I feel like some of you know what I'm talking about. The last thing I got from um, Ulta is this Formula 1006 Keep Your Cool Skin Calming Gel Mask. I was, I got this little like gel mask from someone in like a nipsy bag and I was using it in the shower after I you know cleansed my face and it made a world of difference not to have like the hot water hitting my face and just that time between when you cleanse and when you actually get the the lotion and, and your um, moisturizers on so this I'm gonna throw in the shower and use after I wash my face I was looking for a good uh, gel mask like that, so I'm going to give this one a shot. It's one of the only gel masks I could find at Ulta that wasn't, like, ridiculously expensive or something, you know what I mean? And I, I love the masks from this brand. I've tried probably five or six, and all but the one in the orange bottle was, like, the deep clean one. I didn't really like that one, but all the other ones have been really good. So that was the last thing I got from Ulta. And that's everything I have for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have tried any of these products, please let me know in the comments what you think about them. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, you want me to try something out, let me know. I'm here for you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!